Just watch the yellow truck there. This is the aftermath. Everything happening in front of them. They're checking up. Oh, my gosh. Donnie Neuenberger got in the back of Johanna Long, pushed her into the 88 of Matt Crafton. That's what caught all these other trucks in, in, in this. There's Max Pappas. Ah. on getting down into turn three. James Busher gets into the back of Kerry, or excuse me, Jeffrey Earnhardt. Way on. I'm, I'm telling you, those were. Made a little contact with the 60, Regan Smith. Made a little contact coming off the turn, and that, that's what happens at South Boston. This racetrack is so narrow, it's on the back just to, to create enough room for all the trucks to pit that they've had. James Busher in the 31. Oh, we got a oh, crash. Ricky Carmichael around and backs it into the outside oh, yeah. wall. Looked like Mike Skinner. Oh, oh, and cars and trucks flying in there. That was the six that came in. That is Jeffrey Earnhardt that made contact. The grass. Corbin gets into the outside wall. But watch what damage this grass does to this truck. Oh, wow. Look how violent that is. Parts and pieces went everywhere. I don't know if maybe Jordan got a little bit loose coming off and he falls for the bottom. And she turns in on him. Yeah, he goes, he's all the way down to the white line. I, I think you're exactly right. She did not know he was there. He almost saved it there. And right, right at the very last second, he ran out of racetrack and made some pretty good contact with the outside safer barrier. There's the tail end of it. Can't really tell what happened, BP. No. Maybe no, what might have caused him to turn around and back in the fence. Well, he was Did you see how the 35 came? Maybe was, you know, just one half, a, right, a quarter of a truck link up high, and maybe Clickerman had to change directions, and at the same time, Chastain gave him a bump, and it just sent him out of control. And the bumps are what these guys have relied on to get some momentum. So, if, I mean, that's not... Uh, Unprecedented again. Oh, it just got a little bit high. You know, we talked about Travis Proffel going wide before he got a little bit too high. Almost had it saved. Got, got clipped by uh, Lance, uh, Lance Hooper. And uh, nowhere, to, nowhere to go for Rich Woodland. And he hit him uh, almost head on. Watch this lick here in the back. Boom. And Willie T also. And then they pushed Morgan Shepard right up into the wall. He had nowhere to go. Great camera work, guys, giving a great angle of all those trucks involved in an incident down in turn one. Hard to cover it on a short track this tight. It so often happens, the truck that really initiated the contact. See how Jerry Hill got into this problem. You see the smoke coming out. Oh, no. He into the wall in turn two. Boy, he, he was all locked up, wasn't he? He broke something or he got a tire down because he's on the brakes. Yeah. Was, something. That's a hard hit. That's a vicious hit. That might have been a right front cut. He had turned left to try to avoid that truck and then lost control. It'll be a better view of it, hopefully up top. You can see Neuenberger coming off the corner. He's closing fast on Jen Cobb, and he turns to keep from hitting her. And then around he goes. As you mentioned, the banking of the straightaway is really what contributed to that, him being involved in this situation. I mean, that's a great picture Let's there. Let's go on board see what happens right here. Brian Rettner gets on the inside in just a touch. So, 72 for the, for the sixth time. Him right there, Jonathan Price looked like he got into the outside wall, and Larry Gunselman had nowhere to go and ran to the back of him. So Two, Rick, this is a really tough part of the race. You don't want to be four wide in the trial oval, and that's what will happen. Goes. Watch the front, watch the front, watch the front. Donnie, Donnie Neuenberger, he slides into the 30 of Nelson wow. PK Jr., hits him hard. A few trucks make their way down pit road. That's exactly what happened. It wasn't anything that Eric Almarola did wrong, but it just creates a situation where people start moving. earlier. See him sideways right there. The 70 truck and the 5 truck made contact there. And watch, watch for Bill Luster here. Bill's coming in. He's going on the bottom of the racetrack. Going to follow Brendan Gaughan. And boom, made real hard contact. Should have stayed behind Brendan Gaughan on the grass. And went in between those two trucks. There's another view. There's He's just chasing it up the hill and runs out of racetrack. Taylor Malsom is there. Check out the speed of the... The guys approaching, they're all trying to slow down and get to the bottom. We can't even see those trucks right now because of the smoke. And There's Brian there. Rose. He's, he's that white. You see the back of that white truck still up on the racetrack right by the white line. And then Rick Crawford just clips the right rear corner and turns him almost head on into the outside safer barrier. What do you need, Phil? You Six inches? Coming off turn number two right in there. Got sideways. He's going to make contact with the inside wall. Which is probably going to knock, either knock an oil line loose or knock the fuel pump off the truck. And that's what probably led to the fire. And a different angle looking across the back straightaway. You see the contacts already happened. Now watch the left front. We'll see if uh, there's a flame erupting. So 
I would you guess probably fuel pump there in the front of the truck. From the top of your screen there, you'll see that's Trent Owens in the yellow truck at first, and then there's Brian Brian Sockwell in the 81 truck on the outside. We're not sure. It looked like there must have been some contact between the two and real hard. Contact. Early on, a caution came out on lap two. That's DJ Kennington getting into the wall in turn number three. Brendan Newberry in the 24 also spinning during that incident. The Junction game. Something obviously broke on the truck. He was coming off the corner there and made hard contact with the outside wall. Don't know if the right. Oh man, he and Max just made some contact. And you see Justin Lofton absolutely nowhere to go. Looked like it, uh, Max forced him down into the 93. Turn one. He's got a good, good 8 10 foot truck on his way. Trouble in the back stretch. Johnny Nuremberg going to put him in around into the inside wall. International House of Pancakes sponsored the truck is in a moment ago. See Jason Leffler for some reason came down away from the wall, got in the back of Travis Quaffle, turned him around. That's what started this accident. And the rest of these guys had absolutely nowhere to go. The smoke and trucks in the middle of the racetrack. And you see Rick Crawford flying through the infield. See if he can avoid Billy Lester there. He he wow. does, wow. fortunately. I just wonder if the five with the right front tire of Bobby Hamilton Jr. Here you see him into the wall. Yep. Safer barrier there. 102. Got a little sideways on the he's on the outside of Terry Cook. Got a little sideways getting the corner, then got up uh, got up in the loose stuff and then again just got away from him. He might have been so again the 51 truck involved, Brian Rose. Looks like Brian got a little bit high getting in turn number one there and back in came around on and got up in the loose stuff and made some pretty good contact with the outside wall.